position. Michael Fennelly now inside towards Eddie Brennan. That's an important intervention. Taking away there, Eddie Brennan and Henry Shefflin trying to win the ball back for Kilkenny. Carl Romani has it for Tipperary. Big clearance. Huge one down. John O'Brien competing for it. It's won, however, by Tommy Welch. The referee has blown his whistle and signals that there was a foul down there and it's going to be a free in for Tipperary. Yeah, great passage to play there, Derek. Old Kelly trying to get the ball. I think it was Tasha Farmer gone inside and then pushing the back. He lost his world and he wasn't taking any chances. But uh, then the ball went up the far end of the field and Eddie Brennan was gone inside. And a very important interception again by Paul Corn who started very well. So a free to uh, Tipperary, which is going to be taken by Owen Kelly. Ten years ago, when he first got a championship jersey, it was number 16 because he wasn't just the, an outfield player, he was also substitute goalkeeper that year. Back in 2000, ten years on, looking for a second All-Ireland winner's medal. One in 2001, of course. And he's got another point here. That's three for Owen Kelly. Three from three in the tenth minute of the 122nd All-Ireland hurling final. Well, it's the kind of start Tipperary would have expected to make with the breeze behind them. Yeah, it's been very tight, a lot of hard tackling and you know, intriguing really, not, not, not as stylish as you might have expected. Most of the base so far, but uh, still very interesting. As Shane McGraw wins that, huge one down towards the back corner. Michael Rice comes in. 
It's hard to believe that Brian Kobe took that chance. But I don't like I, I think he had Kobe on once he told he was right. I think he had to start to put bring the ball and have the ball off. So it has it has to be a cause of winning here. It's not difficult to score for six times behind at this stage. Well this was the point he did score earlier on. We're not we're not going to say that one. Well, this was the injury. And this is where he uh, hobbled away from it. Richard Kilkenny on this near side. Richie Power will take over the freeze and Richie Power has driven it to the right and he's put it wide. That's a second wide down by Kilkenny. So Henry Shefflin having scored the only point for uh, Brian Cody's team so far in the match is forced out of the game into the 14th minute now and uh, Kilkenny find themselves 1-4 to a point behind but playing against the wind I remind you. And that was their choice because they won the toss. Here comes Michael Fenlon. Nicely played into space here. Richard Power is after it. Paul Curran's in difficulty. Power still gets there. Trying to slip it inside towards TJ. It comes back out towards Eddie Brennan. Three players going for it. And they win it with the referee. So a push. And it's going to be a free aid for Kilkenny. And a second point chance coming up for them. Yeah, in terms of, you know, it's only 15 minutes into the game. It's a crucial period now for Kilkenny. You know, Henry gone off uh, six points down. Um, really not creating many scoring chances. You know, they had a shot really apart from TJ Reid's shot there for the goal. So, you know, the result really going to be tested and uh, strong breeze. So, it, it's really looked to really, really had a great start and one that, you know, really the young players especially uh, would, um, one of the young players really needed. So, it's 10 minutes since they scored. So, now Kilkenny needing this point by Richie Power. Both of those scores coming from Dice Balls. There's Henry Shefflin looking a very, very uncomfortable figure up there in the stand. Very, very disappointed. All the hard work that he's put in. Tremendous courage on his part to try and get himself ready. But it just didn't work out. Puck out. Well caught. Brilliant detected by JJ Tadeni. Well, Henry's absence now might even serve as a rallying force to do it for Henry. Owen Larkin. Big one up towards Eddie Brennan, trying to break it down to an incoming forward, and that one is Andrew Fogarty, and Fogarty is customary style. Very difficult character to mark, his unorthodox style of approaching a shot, but that was bouncing around there, it was broken down, and Taggy was anticipating, and the former man of the match in an All-Ireland Finals of four years ago gets his first point in this final. Temporary back. Brendan Maher now firing at a shot from 50 metres out and that one has gone straight between the post and over the bar. Great score by a really fine young player, Brendan Maher, just 21 years of age. Yeah, and great vision there by Norman Grab. You know, I really like him at centre forward. He's a great man to throw the ball around, sees everything happening in front of him. And a great time for Brendan Maher, as we said earlier, under 21 and having a great turn in the middle of the future tip. DJ Ryan's puck out. Brendan Maher goes to compete for it with Chaff Fitzpatrick. It's picked up by another Maher. Boring Maher. On as far as Noel McGrath. Deciding to take it further. Inside to Brendan Maher. Looking around him. Well blocked down by Michael Rice. All star last year. Didn't start this afternoon. But in the action. In the last couple of minutes of that time, the referee penalizes Kilkenny. And it's going to be a free for Tipperary, calling across Michael Fennelly. I think it's Jackie Terrell. It's Jackie Terrell, yeah. Front for charge there. I think we've seen Jackie maybe the last couple of games getting booked for similar similar instances. It looks like he's booked again. Just not in there. Yeah. So his name recorded by the referee, yeah, mentally at least anyway. And uh, any more of that, and he could anticipate trouble the Two medical officers out there, Kevin Delargy and Peter Merchant, attending there to the stricken Brendan Maher. Not alone a candidate for Young Player of the Year this year, possibly a candidate for Senior Player of the Year as well. He was sandwiched and Jack was the one who actually called him in front of charge. He's probably Young Player. We've seen the yellow cards issued for that particular type of foul. But he knew what he was doing there. Yeah. was no attempt to play the ball and he took about it. Owen Kelly's going to take this. 65 metres out from the target. Breeze over his shoulder. Three points already scored from Freeze. 